Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Praveen Kumar Bumiset. In this video, I'll cover one of the frequently asked interviews, that is how to create a permanent table from DBT in Snowflake. Using DBT, I want to create a permanent table. Okay, let's discuss. Okay, and one more important update is that. So from August 30, a new batch is going to start. So within 10 days, you can able to master DBT. Okay, let's discuss one by one. Okay. Okay, this is the DBT cloud. First, we should check which database and which schema it is pointing to. Select the current. This is the first step we should understand. So, current database, current schema, schema. Okay, bracket open, bracket close. Okay, now it's pointing to what? It's pointing to so Pravin DBT trainer SC schema. Go to Snowflake. Snowflake is the data platform. So, by using use database that is. What's the database name? So Pravin, DBT trainer. Okay. Control enter. Same thing. Use schema, SC schema. Now we are in Pravin DBT trainer and SC schema. Now I want to find what the tables are available. We should go for show tables. By using show tables, we can able to get list of tables. As of now, no tables are there. Okay. So, okay. See, one table is there. Okay. Now go back here. Let me drop this table for understanding. As of now, no tables are there. Okay, now go to DBT. Now, requirement is that what I want to create permanent table in DBT. A simple things, go for select one ID. So this is one model, okay. Now I'm trying to create one model. Okay, see, suppose like see, sample one dot SQL. Okay, see, sample double one dot SQL. I should create in models. Okay, see, models folder, create. Okay, now what happened? I want to run one model how to run this model by using which command by using dpt run hyphen m and the model name so model name is sample one one okay now see what happened now so see go back here go to snowflake and see confirmation purpose show tables now what type of table okay see show tables not to create a Now see what happened now see what happened now okay now view has been created okay see show views so by default if you run any model what happened normal will be created okay now requirement is that what i want to create a table now go back here now try to put the config property what's the config property this is the thing okay config bracket open bracket close so if you put metalized keyword so materialized equal to table now see the same thing now run this model again so dbt run hyphen m and the model m so model m is sample one one now table will be created so by default if you run any model okay normally will create it now go back you know we mentioned table now go for show tables now table has screen now what type of table it's a it's a transient table but what's the what we what with the interview question is that what now I want to create a, what's the requirement? I want to create a permanent table. Now, how to create a permanent table? So see the same thing, go back here, okay? So now try to, okay, see, go to the configuration property. Okay, by default, transient table. Now we should mention, what's the keyword? Transient keyword. So transient equal to false, false. Okay, one more important point. By default, if you mention table, transcend table will be created. If I want to create permanent table, we should mention transcend equal to false. Now again, I rerun this model by using dbt run hyphen m and the model name. So sample one one. Okay, now see the same thing. Now go back here. Now see the confirmation purpose. Now see it's a transcend. Now tell me what type of table now? Permanent table will be created. Got the point. I see the same thing. Let's affirm. So here, table is permanent. Okay. See, by default, when I put table, transcend table will be created. Okay. If we want to create permanent table, we should mention in the configuration property, make it what? Make it transcend equal to false. Okay. This is one of the frequently asked questions recently. Okay. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.